Now, I don't know anybody that doesn't like tulips. You can prefer the big ones to the little ones, but they like tulips. And you can grow tulips in pots. You don't have to have big ones out in the garden. You don't even need a garden. You grow tulips in pots, they're beautiful. I'm using, these are Red Riding Hood, I'm using the dwarfer ones in a small pot. But you can go for bigger pots and bigger tulips. And it really is straightforward. You put some crocs in the bottom of a pot like this. Pebbles, polystyrene balls, anything will do. You put that in the bottom, that's for drainage. You don't want standing water, you need it to drain away. Then some compost. And you don't need too much. Now, if you can only get garden soil, or you haven't got compost, but you really want to plant some bulbs, mix some grit with it. They prefer this anyway. If you put some grit in with your soil, your ordinary garden soil, away you go, it's perfect. Now, in a, this range of uh, tulips is beautiful. Scarlet flowers with a superb mottled grey-green foliage. Highly compact, growing to just about 20, 30 centimetres in March and April. Remember that it's pointed end up, always pointed end up, and that bulb is going to swell, and that's all it's going to do is swell up to about double, at least double its size. So always leave a gap for the bulb to swell up because the only thing that will restrict the flowering is the fact that it can't swell, it's, it's contained. So just leave a, a, a fair bit of space, so space them out like that, and these are going to look absolutely beautiful. They really are little gems. So you just pop them in like that. And that's, truly, that's all you have to do. Top off with some compost, probably about two inches, and that's about an inch below. And what you're going to do now is take this outside onto the patio or onto the balcony. Take that outside, give it a really good soak and don't do anything else to it at all. That's all you have to do because everything that that bulb needs is inside it. It will swell up and you'll get a beautiful little tulip. Now what I do is cover this with a nice grit. If you're bothered by squirrels or birds, that's all you have to do. Keeps it nice, stops the seeds, weed seeds getting in there. And it's as simple and as easy as that. But I tell you what, come the springtime, that is going to be beautiful. It really is.